Hi, welcome to Outlaw Games. I'm your host, Anthony. And I'm Francis. Today, we are bringing you the East, East India, India Companies. Companies. Yes, East India Companies. So this is a trading game set in the 19th century. Yes, technically like the 18th and 19th. 18th to 19th century. We are uh, taking on the role of one of four mm -hmm. different East India Companies who are essentially responsible for shuttling goods yes. from Asia, India, and in the East Indies uh, back to Europe. Mm -hmm. you know, so this is like... Uh, all the goodies. All, all the, the goods, yeah. The all the stuff that everybody cacao. wants. Cacao. We're bringing all the good stuff back. Mm -hmm. um, no, I don't know if it's cacao. It's I, I always want to call it cacao. It looks like cocoa, like. but it's actually coffee. So, Same plant. Take a look at the table. Here's the setup. Uh, we have this set for two players, and I'll go through that setup um, yeah. briefly so you understand. There's a couple of changes here that are, are slightly different. We are actually um, set up for three players <laughs> because the third player is sort of, I wouldn't even call it an AI. It is just a third player that has that does things. It takes takes up spaces, does deliveries, and all that good stuff. It's just like a, an extra shipping company yes. that's kind of in the way. Doing their own thing. Not the smartest shipping company, but they're still getting in our way, which is what you need in a two-player game like this. Anytime you're doing sort of a stock manipulation, market manipulation, market yeah. manipulation you need somebody to step in. Otherwise, it's just you and the other person going head-to-head, -head, and that never works out well. So, in any case, in a three-player game, you're going to do a couple of things. You're going to cover up some of these available ports. Mm -hmm. uh, one over here in Sector 1. Sector 1 is China. Mm -hmm. Sector 2 is East Indies. And Sector 3 is India. So we're going to cover up another one in India, so that's not available. End of period, we also have another um, item here. I could probably zoom in down here at some point. I think that one has it. Yep, so down here is our end of, end of period. This is the standard for four player. For three players, you have this. And again, we're playing two players, but um, we're set up for three. So we have our initiative order where Francis is yellow. She's first. I'm blue. I'm second. And the AI is going to be the third. So the red player is the AI. Mm-hmm. We have the boards set up here, and I'll show you them. So here's the European board. Yep. Uh, this is going to be their demand, and they're going to be right. buying goods. And the setup of the game, there's like these um, these black spaces that don't get filled in. Everything else does, right? So you'll notice there's only two out of the four here because the top two uh, are a little bit darker. The same goes for the indies, where these are all left empty. Right. Now, during the game, there are going to be dice and cards that bring additional goods into the Indies, mm -hmm. but will take goods away from Europe. Exactly. Which represents right. the supply mm -hmm. and the demand. Right. All right. Keep that in mind, because that's going to drive that is everything we like, do. critical. Critical. <laughs> this whole big section here, um, these are the actions we're going to be taking. And everybody has three agents, and mm -hmm. they're going to send these agents out on the board. Uh, to take any one of these actions. And we'll go and explain those uh, as we go. Yeah. But um, the game simply follows these five phases. The agent phase, we're going to do a stock exchange phase where we can buy, buy stock. Selling stock, I'll explain that in a bit. Uh, navigation is where we're going to be like putting our ships out on the board, mm -hmm. uh, where we're going to be loading up goods in any one of these regions, and then we're going to bring them back to Europe and sell them for profit, hopefully. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're going to rinse and repeat. We're going to do this through five different eras, and the years are going to change. And we're gonna, and it's gonna give us access to better ships. Now we yes. each start with these. You want to go through your ships? <laughs> They're yeah. all the same. They're for all everybody. the same. So yeah, so we start with two galleons, and uh, each of our ships has a cargo capacity and also has a speed. Mm -hmm. So as we upgrade our ships, uh, we will be able to sail faster and also store more stuff. But we're limited by our era. So right now, uh, you know, in this era, if we want to buy more ships, we have to limit it to the ships uh, available in our. Um, uh, available catalog of ships, supply, I guess you could say, yeah. right, or supply, that uh, that have a shipping speed um, of one, which is equal to yeah, one. Equal to or less than yes. the era. So exactly. since we're in era one, we only have access to era one ships. Uh, you pre pretty much have like two of every era's ships available yeah. that you can upgrade to. Uh, you, you pay for them, obviously. Yep. Um, which can be done through one of the actions exactly. um, that our agents will be taking. So uh, we also have a very um, tiny dock so we can only support <laughs> two ships at this point. So if you do buy a ship now, you're going to have to replace a ship. Uh, we can expand our dock up mm -hmm. to four slots, uh, but that will take an action. We also each have two trading posts. Up These to three, actually. Up to three spots? Yeah. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Up total of four. four. Total, total of four. four. That's sorry. what I meant. Yeah. yeah. Um, we also have these um, trading posts. We have two where we can put out on these uh, these little seals. They're like wax seals out there. So uh, there are two per region mm -hmm. that we could take. Um, obviously, there's six of us, so we'll, you'll be able to get them all out, but you may not be able to get the region you really want. Um, up in the upper left, you'll see there are stock certificates, one of each color representing each of our companies. We mm -hmm. can buy those during the stock exchange phase at the listed price. Selling stock is different. You can sell stock that you own outside of the two shares that you own. These are like your own personal company mm -hmm. shares. You can never sell these. But you're allowed to sell your uh, any stock, that's not these two, at any point in the game except for during the stock exchange phase. Right. And in the fifth era, you can't trade them after phase A. Mm -hmm. That's all you have to remember with stock. Yeah. And that, you may not be doing a lot of that either. Mm -hmm. It's only if you need the money, really, because yeah. they're worth... They're going to be worth big money at the end of the game. Yes. So that's it. We'll go through the turns. Uh, down here is a loading dock, and that'll make sense once we bring uh, our ships back to mm -hmm. port in Europe, where we can start selling our goods. Um, right. And that's it. Yeah. You're player one. We're going to jump in now. So uh, the first thing we do, and we have a handy-dandy reference, which will tell us everything per phase we can, like, summarize it. So mm -hmm. the first thing we do is roll the dice. Yep. So as the okay. as player one, you roll them, but it really doesn't matter who rolls yeah. them. So. Oop, there we go. And these are the goods. Right. Yes, and again, I'm loading up Europe here. So this gives us kind of a sneak peek at what is going to be removed um, from the uh, available supply right. here. Right. So it's so going to. Demand. That's the that's the demand mm -hmm. right now. So you've got four T. So you know the first four yeah. T, they're coming off the yep. top. And what's Cubes. important to know, keep that screen up for a second, is yeah. that we're going to be flipping a card. Um, during the navigation phase mm -hmm. that's going to add to potentially each of these mm. goods types. Um, similarly, in, in the uh, indies, we're also going to be flipping a card that's going to add to those and make more resources Bring more available. Goods in. So, so the actions that we're taking here, uh, largely we're going to be trying to figure out what is going to be available and then what Europe wants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you don't do that, you're not going to be in a good place. For the game. So, exactly. Yeah. So, for example, the investor mm -hmm. gives you the ability to peek at the demand, or actually to seed the to, card. Yeah, you get to choose actually if you're the first. person If you're the there. first person, if you're second or third, you'll actually get to peek at it. Yep. The same goes for the governor, but for the indies, he lets you know what their supply is going to mm -hmm. be. So you could kind of gauge which region you you want to go to, because we're going to have to send our ships to one of the three regions. You can't send it to all, so we have to choose. Yeah. We only have two boats right now. So. Right. Um, but you're the first player, yes. so you go ahead and take your first action. All right. Uh, your so first agent action. My first agent action. Oh, all the actions are so good. Yes. <laughs> it's just so good. You need to do them all. You that, do. But you only get to do yeah, three at a time. So. Um, uh, right. And as Let player one, she started with 10 gold coins, and I started with 11. First. I'm going to do this first. So you're going to build um, a trading post. I'm going to build a trading post for first, three which bucks. is kind of weird. So here's $3. I'll take two back. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to build a trading post up here on one of these. You can pick any of these seals. I'm place that for you. Yeah, sure. Which you one? can place it in Macau. Macau. It's fine. All yeah. right. And what the trading post does is when we go to buy goods, mm -hmm. it's going to make those goods one um, money cheaper. One gold. One gold cheaper to buy, um, which is great because you could actually per get cube. that down to zero per per cube. Per cube. So. Per cube. Um, I'm gonna place my. So I'm next. So I'm gonna place my worker, and I'm gonna place them in the first round of the game. You place them anywhere. Yep. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'm gonna go here, uh, and I'm going to expand my yeah, me... my docks. So if you will give me the first mm -hmm. expansion, sure. please. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that and on here. Free. It's yeah, free. It. it just happens. Now it's going to give me um, two additional warehouse spaces because I didn't have any before. So if I do, if I'm, if I don't want to sell um, when I get back to England or Europe, mm -hmm. I can always store some for the following rounds. Yeah. Um, okay. So it's his turn now. So with his turn, <laughs> this is <where laughs> a little crazy. So he's going to go ahead and flip his card, and he's going to take all of these actions. So. All First, at one time. Yeah, yeah he's going to place all of his dudes, and he's going to take these actions. So he's going to expand his board. Okay, so he's going to go here. Now, this is important because he's the second person there. So yep. how this works is if you want to take a spot where somebody already is, mm -hmm. you're going to pay one gold 
per player that's already there. Right. In his case, he's actually going to pay you a gold because you were there first. Right. So he doesn't have any money. So, yeah, you, so you're going to take the, it the bank. bank's going to pay me. Um, so yeah. So it also Next, tells you where yeah. he's going to go on each guy. So he's going to go to the investor top space, investor and he's also going to take the investor bottom space. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, which is kind of Great. crazy, but that's what he's doing. Um, he's also going to buy the fastest ship available in Arrow 1. So if you look at all of our Arrow 1 ships, he is going to... Oh, and he to... is going to do his board. I'm going to take care of his board. Yeah. So if you look at the two Arrow 1 ships, I'll show you them right here. These are both one star, so we can have either one of these. This one has a speed of three. This one has a speed of one but it has a, a capacity of two, and this one only has a capacity of one. So he's gonna buy a schooner. Mm -hmm. So then he puts that in the farthest, well, he's got all the spaces available, so he's gonna go ahead and put that in his yeah, available the space. So he doesn't have to replace any of his ships. Oh, I might have been confusing earlier when I was explaining those What's ships. That? So the the level is not equal to the speed. Mm -hmm. The level, the era is equal to the number of stars on the ship. Correct. So not, in case that yes. wasn't. Clear. This is, yeah, the error is indicated by stars. So we're in error yeah. one, it's one star. So you're 1700, 1750. Yeah. If you notice though, his actions do line up where his guys go. Mm -hmm. So he actually yep. went here, so he went which, there, which gets the thing. dock extension. He went to the investor, which allows you to buy a ship. The ship owner also lets you buy a ship. Mm -hmm. uh, he went here to pick the uh, card for uh, Europe, mm -hmm. which means that we're going to draw a random one. Neither right. of us have the op opportunity to do this now. So yeah. it's, it's now your turn. He does all of his things in one shot, by the way. Uh, once his cards are are done, this is uh, he's he's done. Yeah, now it's back to me. Yep. All right, so, um, hmm. Maybe I'll take. I think I might take this one here for this time. Hmm. Um, so what this action does is it, um, you're free to go to any of the areas when you place your ships. Um, if you notice that each of the areas has a, like coins in a little dish. So if we place our ships out in the China region, mm -hmm. it's going to cost two coins mm -hmm. per ship. Um, if we place them in the uh, East Indies, it's going to cost one. And then in, the, uh, in India, it costs nothing. But for me, it'll cost nothing. Okay. <laughs> uh, I will go... I'm going to go here, so I, I have to pay you a coin, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to pay three coins to go ahead and build a trading post. I'm going to put mine out here in Malacca. Okay. I want to be a coffee trader this game. Are you? Okay. Oh, yeah, I, I think that's, <laughs> that's a whole other game. That's, yeah, coffee trader. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. Okay, so he's done going, so we're going to just yeah, finish just gonna out gonna our finish last out. two actions. Um, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know if I want to... Mm. I don't know if I want to buy another ship right now. Um, hmm. I'm just going to go out here, mostly because I just want this base. <laughs> oh, okay. um, so what this does it, with the trader is it, it says that any of my coffee sales mm. are going to be worth plus one. Right uh, here. Yep. Um, and the reason why... I've kind of distributed my workers like this is because next round when we take actions, we're going to have to move to a location that's adjacent to the location that we're on. We can't just put them wherever we want to. Correct. So. Um. Yeah. I'm just thinking where I want to go. Mm -hmm. I want to buy a boat for sure. I just don't want to pay a dollar <laughs> to go here well, why don't you go oh because you i've got be... two guys stuck there well now you get two guys stuck here i only have one guy stuck there oh yeah that's right that's him mm. you know what i mean like it's going to cost me an extra uh coin. yeah yeah that's what i mean like you've got guys here and here so you're limited i need to spread a bit so i'll pay the extra coin so it's going to cost me a coin to go there plus a coin for the ship because the the uh tier one ships are only a coin each right it tells you right on Right on the ship at the bottom, how much they cost. So these are a dollar each. So I can go with the, the Indian men, which is two cargo, one speed, or the schooner, the schooner, which is three cargo, a uh, three speed, one cargo. I'm going to go with the bigger cargo ship, the Indian men. And you'll understand why speed is important. Mm -hmm. 
But that's it. So we just finished out the uh, agent. Yep. So we're all done taking our actions. We now move into the stock exchange where we have the option in turn in initiative order to buy a, a share of company stock mm -hmm. uh, for anybody's company. Oh, can I actually move that here? Yeah, I was wondering why you chose coffee. Yeah, that didn't, didn't make a lot yeah. of sense to me. Okay. And I was like, why? Why would you? Are you doing that spitefully because I just built a training <laughs> yeah. post on coffee? Because um, you'll notice that each region has their special yeah. good. China is obviously silk. Mm -hmm. um, East India is coffee. Mm -hmm. And India is spices. Yeah. So that's like their main. Their specialty. But everybody yeah. has, has tea, not specialty. Specialty. <laughs> So, um, you if you look, if you look at the top, I'll try to find a nice close up of the top. There you go. Uh, this stock exchange track is the value of stock mm -hmm. for all of us. We're all stuck on the first one, so that they're only worth four gold each. Yeah. So you could buy any stock certificate for four gold right mm -hmm. now. Are you gonna buy one? I. Mm, looking at how much all that stuff is. Yeah. Um. For. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I want to buy his stuff. Where's he at? Everybody's at four right now. I know. I'm looking at what he might be doing. <laughs> we don't know yet. I know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mm, five, six, I only have eight dollars and everything's so expensive over there. Yep. So you have a choice. You could either buy a stock or right. pass it. You can buy one certificate yeah. per turn per, as we go around. I always buy it. And this time I'm not going to. Okay, you're skipping. Pass, yeah. Pass. Answer. I pass. Once all players pass, yeah, the stock exchange round is over. We are now going into the navigation. Um, I will say what's cool about the stock exchange, like passing, that's mm -hmm. different in this game than, than maybe some other games, is like you can pass. And then other players can still go, and when it comes back around to you, you can you pick can back up bid again. again. As so long as it's not you have to pass consecutively. Yes. So. So we're gonna place the top card. All right. Face down. Yep. In each region. One, two, none of us know them because none of us took the action yeah. that let us peek at them or choose them. Mm -hmm. So they're just gonna go random up there. Right. Uh, so that's that. <laughs> we're gonna hope for the best. Yep. And now in <laughs> player order, again initiative order, we're gonna go and start placing our ships out. So you place one ship out in one region face down. Yes. And so what we're looking at first is we are going to go in initiative order, but mm -hmm. we're going to go by speed. And now we all have well, one we're not gonna speed. Do, well, we're not going to go by speed. We're going to put them out any way we want. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's we right. We don't determine right. speed until Sorry. they actually arrive. I know. I always get this so confused. Yeah, so I should, I should don't even shut. Yeah, don't even take his out yeah. yet. Um, we've got to we've got to determine what he's doing. Hold on. Let me go out to the best map of the region. Okay, so uh, basically, you want to take all of your ships and keep them private now, right, from the other players, because you're gonna you're gonna be planting them in one of these three regions, face down, uh, in initiative order. So you get right. to place your first ship in wherever region you want. All right. So I'm gonna go here, and again, it's not gonna cost me anything because I took this action. No, normally, it would doesn't cost, cost two coins yeah. to get out there. I'm gonna go send a ship here to region two. I do have to pay a coin because. I didn't take that action. Now, yeah. we're going to just flip cards for this guy. Yep. So, first card, he is going to region two. So, his goes on top of mine. And he loads from left to right on his yep. on his sheet. Now, you go. And I will go... Mm, I'll stay out here. All right. I'm going to go to region one. Okay. He is going to go where? He's going to... Ah, so he's mm -hmm. going to go anywhere he has trading post, a trading post, he but he doesn't, so then he's just going to go to region one. Okay. And he's got one more ship. Do you have another ship? I have another ship. Okay, go ahead. So I am going to go to region three. Okay. And, and he is go. going to three. All right. There we okay, go. Okay, so these, uh, once they're done, they get shuffled back in. I'm surprised he didn't build a trading post. He usually does that. He does. Okay, so now we just finished our navigation, mm -hmm. and we are moving down to the load. So now we go into India, and we flip the card. So well, here we, we go. go. Yeah, the Indies, right? Yeah, Indies. Sorry, not India. <laughs> <laughs> Indies, and we flip the card, and we see what the actual supply is going to be. Mm. So we add oh, the okay. die. Two dice mm -hmm. plus two is four more T are coming in. Yeah, and you'll see that it looks like there's three. If, I don't know if you're close enough on the on the zoom, but that last cube is actually for four players. 
So we're going to only add those yes, two. Yes, on that card. So that bottom one is actually only for four players. That's correct. Uh, so we're going to bring in three spices. One, two, and you just fill the boxes from bottom to top. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to bring in some coffee, four coffee. coffee. Mm, get it nice and cheap. And that's going to actually complete fill out the coffee. Yeah. Uh, and then we're bringing in two, only two silk. Mm -hmm. So on, off the silk road. All right. All right, so that's our supply. And now uh, we're going to go region by region, starting with region one, which is China. And we're going to start flipping these cards. Yes. Uh, flipping these tiles. This is, this is, I get so excited about this. this and is my they're going to go into this loading <laughs> board, right? So yes. one at a time. We're going to see. So you go by speed. So we have a yep. galleon for one speed. So they're going to go in the one speed column. Yep, one speed down here. Oh, sorry. Wrong side. One speed. So that's the first ship. Second ship, a one speed galleon goes on top because mm -hmm. actually that one was in player order, left first. Next galleon goes on top. All one speed galleons. Um, and we just start now loading. So this galleon gets to choose what they want to load from region one, which is either tea or oh, we're silk. we're going silks. And silk is three coins per. Yes, so I can only hold one because my ship only has a cargo right. of one. So I will give you your, um, your So silk. I will pay, thank you. But you get a discount. I do. So silk is three, so I will pay two. Two coins for that one silk and yep. you take that ship Back to and my thing. Next is your galleon again. Yep, and I'm going to do the same thing. So here's another five. So we'll take three back. Three back. I'll give you another silk. Another silk. Now the next silk is four cost. Here's your three. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, so now it's the galleon. He's going to take one because the uh, the AI player, but he doesn't pay anything. <coughs> he just takes that mm -hmm. silk and he goes all the way to the left. Yep. All right, so that's region uh, China. Now we're going to go to the East Indies and do the same thing. So we've got a speed one galleon and a speed one Indian man. So mine actually loads first. I've got room for two cargo in this one ship, and I may just do it all. Uh, we only have one ship. Look at it. So he's going to load two coffee, because I can yeah. load coffee or tea here. I'm going to load two coffee. They're $2 a piece. Yes. But, but I, get, yeah. I get a discount, because I have a trading post nice, here. So it's yes. only going to cost me $2 to get two coffees. That's great. That's really good. So I've got three and change, and I take both of those, load them onto my Indian and take him home. Mm -hmm. Galleon, he is now going, he always buys the specialty the primo stuff. premium. Yes. So he's going to buy coffee. Never buys tea, unless he has to, if there's nothing left. And he so, never pays anything. Nope, doesn't pay. So he will take his one coffee and then bounce. Okay. Last but not least, we have the, uh, this is India. India. So we've got. His schooner's a speed three. That mm -hmm. goes here. So he's ahead of everyone. He's like in such a hurry. He's like, I'm here, guys. And then we have my two galleons that were like just creeping in at the end. So we have a schooner mm -hmm. is going to load one of spice. Spices. Yep. And then he's there out. He goes. In and out. <laughs> Flew that in there, guy. grabbed Look the spice, and then bounced. Diversified with his. Yeah. So now small. I have a choice. I can spend my three coins, my last three coins, and buy <laughs> spice. Mm hmm. Or I can spend just two coins, all three coins to buy two teas. Mm -hmm. So I'll spend one coin to buy one tea, and I'll spend my second two coins to buy another tea. Mm -hmm. Bring him back. So that is it. It's worth mentioning if you decide um, you do not want to buy anything yep. while you're there, you can actually leave your ship out on the board. At the price of a coin. At the price of a coin. And when we get to the next loading phase, mm -hmm. they will load ahead of all the other ships. Before the ships even get pulled off the board, mm -hmm. they will load first and then come back. Yeah. Um, their choice. Because they're already there. They're just waiting. So that's it. That's loading. And now we're going to sell. So we are all back to Europe now. Yes. Yeah, so now we're going to flip the Europe card. And now we flip the Europe oh, card. Oh, yeah, we did. And now these actually come wow. off the oh, board. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So we're going to take five T well, off. One, two, three, four, five. Man. Yeah, I'll just leave, leave these okay, over leave here so I can stock them. Uh, four, uh, four spices, spices are coming off. Uh, we've got two coffee coming off. Mm, that's a shame. And three silk. Wow, that's wow. big. Wow, that's huge. It's big for silk industry. Yeah, I don't like that, I silk like industries. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So in player order. Mm -hmm. Initiative order. Initiative order. We are going to sell one ship's worth of goods 
at a time. At a time. So you yeah. are first. What are yep. you going to sell? I'm going to sell one silk. One silk, and they will pay you $8. Eight dollars. But I am on. I have my trader out there, so he's actually going right. to pay Can me Can I nine. have one dollar, and I'll give yes. you ten? So there you go. Thank you. And no, those and go on the right. And this goes here. Yes. So this is another very important component of the game, mechanic of the game. Um, then you actually need. To, I need to give you exact. Change. Oh yeah, that's right. So here's your dollar. <laughs> As we Back. explain how important that is. Yeah, and I'm going to give you four dollars. Four. This is going to determine. A lot of things yeah. we'll, we'll show you in a minute. Right. Why right, right. you have to keep these two sides yeah, separate. So stand by for that. The left is your wallet, the yeah. right is your sales proceeds. Those yeah. really matter. Yeah. Okay, so coffee. Mm -hmm. uh, he's got coffee too, so I need to sell my coffee right away. So I'm going to sell both of my coffees Kay. off of my Indian men. So that's going to be six and five. There's 11. Are you, you don't have a trader? I don't have it. Okay. I don't have uh, a trader, but I'm going to take the full 11 into my sales proceeds. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now it's his turn. He's yep. going to go left to right. He's selling his silk. Okay, That'll earn him seven. seven. And you do have to give him the money because it's yes. just to determine his stock price his, his stock his price, and his profits, sales right proceeds right. and profits. All right. Boom. Yeah. So that back to you. Back to me. I have another silk. It'll sell for, for eight because of seven and eight. All right, so give me two. So now I can give you two. And you can from your ten. profits, and I'll give you a ten. Yeah. There you go. Uh, I will sell ah, so close. one T for six. And he will sell one coffee mm -hmm. for five. Yep. There you go. Yeah. And you will, you, you're I done. Know. I'm going to sell another T mm -hmm. for five. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> did another, you put your other one up here? I did. I okay. give it to you. Another T for five. Okay. And he's going to sell his spice. spice for six. Wow. Okay, so that's all of the uh, trading. Yep. So now we do what's called, now here's the thing. You, if you choose not to trade and you have warehouse space, you could store it. Yep. And then you could sell it at a later round if, if like the market's not as good as you thought. And the cool it. thing about that is that you actually sell out of your warehouses first. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty neat. Yep, before the ships. Yep. So that ends that. Now we do the end of period, which basically we look at where we who, um, has, who sold the most who sold the most right. so we look at how much do you have 18, sold? i have 17 he's got 15 16 17 18 10. i had 22. wow okay um so i sold the most mm -hmm. so i'm going to go up two two ticks yes. on the stock ticker pay attention yes this is very <laughs> important one two ticks on the stock second player was who uh it was him so then he goes up one third yep. player doesn't go and up I, go, I don't go up at all all right Next, you go down to your player boards. Yes. And you look at how much did you make? 10 plus, 20 plus, 30 plus? I made 10 plus, I go up one notch. Yeah, and I am also at 10. No, you went 20. You made $22. Oh, I did? Yeah. Well, let's go up two notches then. Yeah, I was going to say, I made 10. Um, and he made 10 as well. As well. So it's either over 10 or over 20, over 30 or 40 or over 50. Now, yeah. however many clicks you went up on this, is how much your stock will go up again. Again, yes. I'm gonna go up two more notches. Yep, he'll go up one and I go up one. Yeah. Wow, all right. So. And now the cool thing about this is that even though we're saying however much you made, that's how much you're gonna go up, it's really what you have in your proceeds, mm -hmm. right? So it's possible that next round, we may not go up at all because we're still kind of within that 10 to 20 threshold. Yeah. But um, on the contrary, if you, sell a lot this time and you actually sell less next time and you're sort of between the 10 and 20, mm -hmm. you're going to drop back down and so is your stock price. That's correct. All right. So next, dividends. Dividends is a very interesting thing that we have to look <laughs> at. So uh, a couple of things as well we have to adjust. Um, when we determined um, the total sales, the, the highest sales, which was me, uh, goes last. Yeah. Right. The second place in sales goes second and the last place in sales goes first so it's that's catch up so yeah. it's a little catch-up mechanic right so now i just actually fell to last place because of that um and then we do dividends right so dividends are basically um you pay out stockholders for your stock depending on where it is on this track right here zero one two three and four that's how many dollars per share you have to pay out the players Mm -hmm. We're all in zero still, so there are no dividends to be paid. Right. That'll make sense probably next round. Yeah. Um, all of our money moves from our proceeds to our treasury. Yeah, that's part of the dividend. So now we've just secured all those funds. 
their uh -huh. R's. He doesn't he, keep any All money, that goes back so. to the bank, yeah. yeah. It's just for calculating his stock price. Yep. Because we can buy his stock, mm -hmm. sure which can. is pretty cool. So we go and we prep for the next era. Mm -hmm. uh, we are now in era two. And that's, I believe that's it. Yeah. Well, we're going to move these guys up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. These all go to the, to the guys' faces now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> when we move these agents now, they can only move to an adjacent mm -hmm. action space. Yes. Or to the center. Right. Which is where adjacent to everything. You're basically forfeiting your action, but you're getting yourself across for the next round. Right. Um, which is tough if you find yourself mm -hmm. in that position. But I think that's cool. it. So uh, first thing we do with the agents is we roll the dice. Yeah. And get rid of, and get rid of these cards. <laughs> yeah. So these cards are out of the game now. Whoops. As I roll them all. Oh, uh, yeah. Don't do that. Whoa, look at that. Oh, what's that? I landed one die on top of the other. Oh. <laughs> uh, do no tea coming in on the dice. Ooh, okay. Wow, a lot wow. of demand. Wow. So much demand is in Europe. Is it going to be worth it? No, this is going to be a big trip. Okay. So that is the. Uh, the dice, now we're going to start placing guys. So you go first, mm. again. Wow, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. All right, I think I'm going to go right in. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to pick the India card. Oh, OK. Not now. During the oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, eek. That's an interesting move. It is interesting, because I yeah. normally don't do that. <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah. Yes. Don't like that. All right, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to take, um, so Congrats. I don't have to pay. I don't yeah. have to pay any travel fees. All right, what's he doing this time? Uh, let's see. He's gonna actually do... he goes first. Oh, you're right. I go last. That may change things. You can move there when you're ready. Uh, no, <laughs> leave him here for now. Um, he's going to put his guys um, the bottom of the ship owner. So he's going mm -hmm. down here. Okay. He's going. So he's going to get another dock over here. Uh, no, he's not. He's buying a ship. Oh, why'd you put him on the bottom then? Oh, sorry, he's on the top. You're right. Bottom of the governor. Mm -hmm. And he's going on this guy. Where is he putting his bottom. trade post? He's putting a trade post on three. Okay. So in Pondicherry. India. Yeah. And he's buying a cargo ship, the highest tier. So okay. grab him. So I he can have a two. Hold on a second, I'll tell you. He's got, wait, the fastest no, or cargo. the cargo? The cargo. All right, so, so he's going to get master. the three master. Yeah, I like this ship. <laughs> it's got a three cargo, but one speed. So that will All replace right. the furthest left <clears> the <throat> lowest okay. tier ship, which okay. will be his galleon. Yep. All right. So he is, uh, cool. oh, he's going to go nuts. This guy's a jerk. He's going to go nuts. All right. So that may, yeah, but look, he took my spot that he I wanted. He did take your spot. So that, yeah. that might change things. Um, yeah, it's annoying. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Well. 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 I guess I could. Yeah, he's gonna take my money. What a jerk. <laughs> I wanted to buy a boat. There's a lot, so many things I wanted to do. Well. Can't do any of it now. You can do it. You just gotta pay. Yeah, but I don't really want to pay. You got the money. I do have some you money. Have some deep pockets. You didn't pay any dividends last time. I didn't pay dividends. I'll be paying them this round, though. That's for sure. Do I, do I want to upgrade a boat? I kind of do. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm going to go here, and I'll pay him. I'll pay a dollar to the bank because I'm copying his move. And I'm going to buy a boat. And it's going to cost me two bucks. But I'm going to buy myself a three master as well for two dollars. Mm hmm What? <laughs> round two, everybody always buys a three master. It's the boat, man. It's you the boat to have. Stinking galleon. All right, your go. All right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um. All right. Need my dock. Good call. I'm gonna go 
down here and pay three dollars to buy another trading post. And I'm going to set that trading post right here in India, mm -hmm. right in Calcutta. Okay. Oh, Calcutta. Mm-hmm. Um, I am going to go here. And buy yourself and a, buy three, myself a three master. A three master. <laughs> uh, then I'm going to go to the trader. I'm going to Trader Joe's, and I'm going to do a. What 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 do I want? I don't what, know. what 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 what? <clears throat> I'm gonna go and do. You're kind of going spice. I see you're going spice. Yeah, a little spice, a little spice route. I think. I think we're okay, okay here. Well, I'm, I'm diversifying. I have a little spice, a little coffee. Okay. Uh okay. All right. <laughs> so that was uh. Sorry, we weren't taking keep a track. That was the agent yeah. round. <clears throat> now we're in stock exchange. You get to buy some stock. What are you buying? Um, I'll buy some stock. You've got some stocks to watch? I have some stocks to watch. Um, my dad always used to watch that show. Mm. <laughs> um, okay, who do I want to buy? I would buy him, but I don't know that he's going to be paying like, lots of dividends. But you might be paying dividends pretty soon. <laughs> Possible. Um, I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy your stock for five bucks. Okay. You don't pay me. You pay the bank. I know. I'm passing it to you because you're also the bank. I'm just telling the, the folks oh, the at, home. at home. Yeah. Right. So she's so going to push me up a pip because Boop. she bought my stock. Uh, so I will be paying dividends next round, guaranteed. Um, I get to buy some stock now. So I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy his stock actually for four dollars. And push him up one. And I'll take a certificate of his. I think he's going to do some great things. Uh, it goes to you. He doesn't buy stock. He does not. Mm -hmm. And I am going to buy my own stock for four. I'm investing in myself. Mm. My Very own good. company. That leaves you still at $4 a share. Now, the question is, do I want to buy your stock for four? That leaves me with $8 to, to buy goods with. I think I think that's um I think that might be a bad idea if I buy You're more stock. Anthony's notorious for buying so much stock. Yeah, I'm not going to buy stock. <laughs> I have a lot of goods I'm going to be shipping this round, so yes. I don't want to buy it. Sorry, so I pass. You can okay. buy more. No, I'm good. I'm passing. Okay. So we are done buying stock. Mm -hmm. The exchange is over. Now we are navigating. Yes. All right, India card. So bring us. So you get to you get to choose any India card for the period. The Europe card does not get chosen. It is random. All right. I want this one. All right. So there's our India card. It has been chosen. So now we are putting ships out. Okay. You're first. <laughs> Where to go? Let me just shuffle my ships here. Mm. Mm. That's I need, gonna cost I need me to two. send my fastest ships there. So that costs you two bucks, right? Yep. You love going to China. I do. I have like lots of investments there. You do. Um, I'm going to send a ship to India. <clears throat> He goes. He is going to area two. So take his far left ship, go to area two. So he's going to East Indies. Okay. All right, your go. Wow, you're just all eggs in one basket for you. That's how I do it. I hope you have enough money left over to buy stuff. Well, you don't care. You didn't buy my stuff. I did not. <laughs> he is going to go to India. Okay. Why are you giving that to me? Oh, that's not India, oh, that's China. India, here we go. Okay. <laughs> the other <laughs> India. Okay. Uh, your go. My turn? Uh, actually, yeah, he was supposed to go before me, actually. Yeah, he was. Right? And I just went to India. So he should be below you, yeah. There you go. That's my turn. Your turn. Okay. I will go to here. Okay. 
and then he will finally go to China. Okay. And I will go to, well, now you all went to India. I might as well just go. All right. Okay. Interesting. So we are now out of the navigation, and we are to load. Yes. So first step of loading is seeing how much supply we're going to have. So we're getting 2T. That's it. We're getting four spice. It stocks up spices in full. Mm -hmm. That's nice, nice. We're going to get four coffee. Yeah. Actually, three. only three because that's four. That's all we can take. And we're going to get four. One, two, three. And all the, all the uh, silk has come in from the Silk Road. Mm-hmm. Okay. So load us up. All right. So we're going to do... Sector one first, right? Okay. China. Yep, bring it up. Let's bring them back. So we've got a uh, speed of three. His schooner mm -hmm. just zips in there. Your galleon. <laughs> My slow And your galleon. three master. That goes up here, doesn't it? That's a speed of one. Oh no! <laughs> That's okay. Doesn't matter. So he's gonna go and he's gonna scoop up the very first yes, he is. silk. Bring that back to his station, please. I know. Uh, you can load up three items here. What I would you sure like? I sure can. I would like, um, I'd like that free tea. That's free because I'm trading post. Okay, that's one. Um, I will take. Um, take another tea, which is going to cost me one. Mm-hmm. And I'm debating whether I want silk or not. You went all the way out there. What? You paid four gold to go out there, and you're not buying any... What? Silk? Well, I might. I'm thinking about mm. what I want to sell. I'm thinking about a lot of things right now. Because mm. um, the thing is this. I'll, I'll explain to you what I'm thinking, mm -hmm. people at home. Back here on the Europe board, I know that tea is going to get wiped. Yep. Okay, regardless of what comes out on that card. So the thing is, though, we only have one T per slot. So the more T we bring in, the cheaper it gets more quickly. Correct. Right. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to sell two T, right, mm -hmm. out of my boat. Um, but if somebody else sells tea, like it gets cheap really fast. So I might want to bring out a silk just to make sure I've got something of value. It'll cost you two gold, then. Yeah. And I've got five. So. All right. It goes in your ship. Your three master. Oh, actually. yeah. And now it's full. Uh, but actually, that cost me one less. So I only you, charged you two you gold. You charged me two. Okay. Okay, just checking. And your three master is now gone. Okay. Uh, what would you like to load into your galleon? Oh, yeah, I forgot I had that guy out there, too. Um, I'll just take another tea. <laughs> two more dollars. <laughs> just one dollar, actually. Why? It's three. You the only tea? The tea. Oh, another the tea. tea. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what would have made more sense? Wait, give me that back. Sorry. Why? Because you bought tea, not silk. Yeah, but what I'm going to do is put my silk on this ship and my tea on this ship. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter, does it? It does matter. It does matter? Oh, yes, it does. You can sell from one ship at a time. That's right. I, I knew I was thinking that for a reason, and it wasn't speed. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, so we're going to go with... Region two, so my galleon, mm -hmm. my Indian man, mm -hmm. and his three master. So he's going to go first. Yeah. So he's going to buy up three cocoa right off the bat, and then right. away he goes. Bye bye. My Indian man, what do I want to buy? Definitely want to buy some. I would have liked to buy cocoa. Mm. I could buy two. Uh, I might as well buy tea. So it's going to be cost me one for a tea. Mm -hmm. And these are three, so that'll cost me two more for a tea. I probably want to do that. Tea. All yeah. right, he's coming back. Yep. Ooh, slow down. Where's he going here? <laughs> uh, I'll pay two more for a cocoa. Oh my galleon. A Rococo? Rococo. 
All right, because my trading post with the discount. Finally, yep. we are in India, so it's going to be your galleon. Oh, yeah, I'm here too. My three master and his galleon. So oh, okay. He's going to buy. So he's going to buy first. One spice and he's gone. Bye. My three You're master. Buy three. I have a trading post here. I'm going to take a free spice. Mm, nice. And I'll spend two more dollars to take the last two ah. here. Grab those three, come home. Boogers. And your galleon. Y'all left me with nothing. Nothing. Um, I can't afford anything, actually. So. <laughs> you want to leave them in the region? Uh, for a it's dollar. supposed to be one or two. A one dollar, dollar, right? Yeah. Are you sure it's a dollar? It's, it's a not dollar. two? Nope. Okay. I'll spend a buck, leave him in the sea. So he stays out there face up. Yep. Um, he'll be separate from anything else and they'll be, lo be able to load up right away and then yeah. come home. Uh, now we're coming home. Let's see what we have. Okay, let's see. Oh. Wow, look at that. All right, so this is getting wiped. We already know that. Yeah, we knew that was coming. Four. Um, one, two, eight. like all this is gone. Yep, one, two, three, four, five. Wow, it's gone. Like, wow. Yikes. Europeans just crushed it. Two uh, of those. Just are two of these. Off. Yeah, the cocoa is not. No, doing it's not doing it. Two of oh, these. Coffee. I keep calling it chocolate, yeah. but it looks like little chocolate cubes. <laughs> you you know? just want to eat it. Yeah. Out. <laughs> all right, so uh, you're player one. You get to sell first. One ship. I sure do. I'm selling my my tea. That'll be twenty-one dollars for that. Uh, yeah, it is gonna be twenty-one. You sell all of that. Yep. All right, she's done with that. Twenty-one. Uh, his go, and he's gonna sell the farthest left ship. He's gonna sell his silk for mm -hmm. seven dollars. Yes. So take that note. There it goes. Yeah, there you go. Okay. I will sell both of my teas. Are you going to sell both of them? Mm. Nobody. No, you know, I don't need to because you nobody else has tea. Yeah. I'm going to sell my cocoa. Uh, really? Yeah. For $5. Why wouldn't you sell your orange boat? Because nobody else is selling orange. He's selling orange. He's not yet. Okay. He goes from left to right. Uh, okay. Yeah, He's selling true. cocoa next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. My turn? Yep. Okay. So I will sell for 7 a silk. I'm just looking at his order. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot to like think about. All right, so he's going to sell two of his co his coffees and then yeah. warehouse one. Yep. So, so he'll it's get ten. Go one, two. He'll get ten. That goes there. He gets oops, ten. All right, and then I sell three spices, and yep. I want to get nice. eight, seven, and seven. That's fifteen. Twenty-two. Your investors are quite happy with this 20. result. Two. I put these ten dollars over here. I don't know why I did that. Yeah, careful with that. Oh, yeah. What did I sell? I sold a cocoa you for sold five. A cocoa for five. Okay, I had five then. You sold. And then my I just sold my second thing. Yeah. Yeah. So I have. That's okay. I just pulled five back. Okay. Um, he's gonna sell spice. Mm hmm. For six. Yes. One spice. Yep. Okay. Um, six. Yeah. And I'm going to sell two tea for ten more dollars. Okay. Um, what I didn't do mm -hmm. was oh, I did sold, you adjust for I this? I did not. How many spice did I sell? I think I, I sold. I think you sold like three because you had them on your three master, right? I did. I ate seven and seven. Yeah, so you get three more. I get three more dollars. What? <laughs> so I'll turn this back. Yep. You're right. So actually, I made forty bucks that round. Holy, crap. <laughs> Holy moly! Who's buying my stock? I am actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's it, man. That was a crazy, crazy trade period. All right. Um, man. So, how much did you make? Let's see. Let's go to the end of the period. So I made. I made. 10, I sold forty. Twenty-five, twenty-six, seven, twenty-eight. I sold. Mm -hmm. He sold ten, twenty-three. All right, three. so he goes first. Mm -hmm. You're second, I'm last. All right. And then he's going to go up to, he sold 23, so he's going to bump up here. Wait, so I go, first of all, I go twice. Oh, yeah, do your thing I first. I go twice, you go once, and he goes zero. Yes. All right, now we bump these. So how many right. does he bump? So he is at 23, he so he bumps one. one. All right, and then how many do you? I also bump one. One? So you went up to five dollars a share? I'm always like $2 short. I went up two bumps. Wow, okay. So I go up two notches man my stock is worth so much money wow 
That's great. Eek. All right, so now we bring these back. Okay. And we pay dividends. Yes. So we're Hit not paying part. anything. Who owns you're, my stock? I do. You own one share? <laughs> I do. So you're going to get a dollar from me. Thank you. Hold on, I got to get change. <laughs> one, two, three, um, four, five. Here. You can just give me, well. One dollar. Okay. Me. Can you change this out for me? For, for what? Five dollars? Yeah, here you go. Thank you. Um, that's it. He, does he pay divs yet? No. No. Oh, man, the jerk. He needs to step up his game. <laughs> I know. He keeps it just low enough here. He does, clearly. It's all his money. All right. Yeah, he didn't have a very lucrative round that time. Mm. We are in era three now. Yeah. And we are rolling dice. Yes. Let's, okay. Let's get this set for the next go. Wow. So much tea. No silk. No silk. No. Hope that get card that card is good. out of here. Yeah. Get out of here, card. Get out of here, card. All right. Now we're drawn from the from the second card, not the first, because we're in era three. That's correct. Yep. Yes. And then these guys okay. all go back on the faces. I gotta think about what I wanna do. Yep. So those guys all go back to the faces. And we are error three. All right, first things first. Uh, he is going to go yeah, before he all goes of us. First, he's so. got the initiative, so this is what he's doing. All right. So he's gonna so expand he's gonna go. his dock again and buy a fastest ship. Oh, what a jerk. What? This guy, man. Yeah, so he's going down here. I don't even know if his oh, wait, that's giant guy. dock he's is red. still on here. He's going here. He's going on the top part of the investor to buy a ship. What's he doing? He's buying a ship? Buying a ship, expanding his dock. Now, what ship is he going to buy? The fastest? Yeah, because it's got the sail on it. Oh, okay. And the governor, he's going to do... Oh, he's doing See, the he's Indian, buying so a... He can't do that either. Is it going to be the fastest... Tier 3 ship. Tier 3 or yep. the fastest... Always the current era. Really? What if there's a faster current era 2 ship? It doesn't have as much cargo space. That's true. I'm just... So he insane. shall go. Okay. Yeah, so he's got a speed 2 with... Uh, a speed 3 with 2 capacity. Clipper. A steam clipper. Wow. What, is, what else did he do? Oh, man. He did a lot of good stuff. Yep. So That's that me. is problematic. That is very problematic. Okay. All right. Well, uh, you go. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I need this card. Uh, he can he shuffle can back. Oh, in. yeah, that's right. There you go. Um. This is tough. Tough, tough, tough. Actually, no, that doesn't get shuffled in. Where is it? <laughs> Ooh, okay. The ship cards get shuffled back in. It's like you end up... You end up at a point where you're not really where you want to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Alrighty. Yeah, all right. Um, I'll start by here I guess okay wait sorry I gotta go this way why is that because I want to do something else down here but I can't uh, with that guy so I've okay. got to so then I will go here and buy a ship okay that's gonna come to buy the P liner or the pliner for three dollars two three get rid of this last galleon mm-hmm this is a speed two with three storage. All right. I'm going to come down here and build my trading house mm. here for three. Give me two back. Two back. Two back. Two back. Mm. Mm. Dang it. What? There's things I'd rather do. I know. <laughs> that this thing isn't going to let me do. So mm -hmm. I'm going to go. This thing being. I'll go spice. Rules. Spices. Spices. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, I'm not. Mm. Mm, sucks. I don't want to, okay. like, screw myself. All right, I'm 
to go here and also buy a ship, so I'll pay you a buck. Mm. And I'm building a steam clipper as well, except I'm going to build it here and replace my galleon. And have no galleon, just, you didn't have to replace a galleon, right? I do, because this guy's technically out there. Uh, oh, yeah, that's yeah. true. You so he a, still counts. You're full up. He's full, so. That's good call. Uh, but that's going to be $3, so can you give me two back? Sure. Thank you. I'm going to go and I'm going to pay a dollar and buy a steam clipper. Mm-hmm. And replace my Indian men for $3. Okay. I, like, hate going into this blind... Yeah, like, like that's, not knowing that's about where worst. we are right now. So that is the end of that. So stock exchange, uh, he's not buying. What are you buying? I'm not buying anything. No? Nope. 10, 20. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really, I don't want to buy anything. I have too much that I don't want to do. $5, I'll take a, a share of yours. You are push you up to six. Me. I believe, believe in you. In I think your company is going to be successful this season. Okay. I think you've got <laughs> a lot of a lot of things. I'm also <laughs> going to spend another five dollars. Uh, you you because you could you want to buy more now? Are you still going to pass? Because you could buy now. Um, I guess I could buy like, I could buy some of his. You could. For five. Um. I could buy more of my own. 10, 20, three. No, I'm still going to pass. I'm All right. Buy. I'm going to spend five and buy his. Probably a terrible idea. But... I'm going to buy a share of his mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Now I got two shares. You were like so in the money last mm -hmm. round. You'd like I'm going to spend bucks. $6 and buy another share of yours. I don't invest in me. I invest in everybody else. I believe in your <laughs> success. Okay. Uh, I'm pushing your stock up. Okay. It's not like it pays that big a dividend, right? Well... We'll see. Whoops. <laughs> uh, okay, so that was stock exchange. Mm -hmm. We are donezo. So now we are going to navigation, where neither of us chose. Yeah. So I know. bring out the, the level three card on Europe. Uh, here it comes. We don't look at it. Yet, I know. But I we're know. good. And now we're bringing ships out. What are you doing? Uh, he's first. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So he is going to. One China. Okay. China. And you are going to. That was a great question. Actually, <laughs> I am going mm. to China as well. Okay. For two dollars. Um, hmm. I'm going to spend two and go to China as well. Mm. Okay. He is going to... Oops, I should have kept my thing private. Right? He is going to... He has a house out? In he has one? a house here, yeah. He's going to go to his house. In three. I'm up. Yeah. That's one coin. I will go to Okay. Three. He Where is going go? to go to two. So he's going two. to East Indies. Okay. Where are you going? You went? I don't have any more ships. Oh. My other ship's out there. Yeah, I see that. Go there. And he's going to go where? He's got four ships. He does. <laughs> he has a fleet. <laughs> he doesn't go to any of these, so he's just going to go to two. To two? Not yeah, to his house? Well, he wouldn't go again. Wouldn't he? Uh, I guess maybe. Go ahead. Send him to three. Yeah, most likely. Right. He'll just keep going where he's got do. a trading post. Even there's gotta be like no goods there. <laughs> I know. Uh, all right. Well, here we go. Let's load. What are we doing? What's the supply look like? Wow, five T. That's pretty good. That's good. This is like boats lined up out the door. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In India, they're like or China. It's like 
for all the tea in China. I know. Four, one, two, three, four. Hmm, really a lot of stuff come out. Yeah, three coffee. You have yeah. uh, coffee over there? I do. I, I yeah. have enough on. Yeah. Okay. Just enough. You keep taking them I off do, the board. I do, yeah. So. <laughs> I'm taking we're them delivering. even further east. Yeah, we're delivering <laughs> everything. further west, right? One silk is coming out. One silk road. Okay, it goes down here, actually. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sorry. That's it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's see how China <laughs> fares. We have a steam clipper speed of three. We have a three master speed of one. <laughs> he's, like, he's like creeping in. He's like came. In. He shows up like nine days late, uh, and a schooner and a dollar speed short. of three. Yeah. yeah. So he's coming in. He's gonna scoop up the most expensive item. Yes. He he's is. out. He's like, Bye. Whoops. Zips in, zips out. <laughs> My steamer comes uh, in. He's got like silk flying off of the back of the ship. <laughs> he does. He's just like. <laughs> uh, okay. So what, what do I want to do? I don't know. This is really. Two, yeah. I mean, you're all up in. I'm up in the tea. The trading house area. You don't know what you're gonna do. One, two, three, four dollars. Oh, uh, actually, what? two dollars. Two dollars. Okay, I'm out. I had okay. enough of this. You had enough of this. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. Well, you buy three goods. Yeah, I know. Um. I'll scoop that silk for, for two. two dollars and I'll take two T for, for two more dollars. Two more dollars, so four dollars. Four dollars. Back. Okay. And there it goes. Whoops. Your yeah. three master. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom, here it goes. All right, here we go. Let's see where this East Indies. So we've got a my three master comes there you in. Go. Always always making a showing. Mm -hmm. uh, we have our galleon. Mm. And we have your steam clipper. Oh, yeah. oh, you're going in strong on the East Indies. I sure am. What two items would you like to buy? I would like to buy two cocoa. Two cocoa. So you're gonna get this at two and one is three dollars. Three gold. Um wait, what? One two. and two is three. Oh, yeah. right, okay. Sure One is. plus two equals three. <laughs> sure does. Still does. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure you were accounting for my new trading uh, oh, house. Oh, I see your here. little. I see your shiny trading I house. Didn't know if you saw that in the papers. In Batavia. Uh, all right. Get that clipper out Ooh. of here. What is happening? <laughs> my, <laughs> my hearing just fell out. It's, it's like I can't even. <laughs> I'm very high strung lately. Uh, he's <laughs> buying coffee. <laughs> oh my gosh! I thought it was. A yeah, that was crazy. Spider. All right, get that steam clipper out of here. Okay. You've had enough of his uh, All right. his antics. Yeah, that one. <laughs> uh, now, do I want to buy? <laughs> this is where it's difficult because. Um. Yeah. Yeah. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna leave him out to sea. Okay. For a dollar, I think it's. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, he's a he's slow, but he's got three cargo mm -hmm. that can be used at a later time. I think he's yeah, my safe bet. Now, your galleon can load up right now sure can. and pull back. And he what will, for taking? one one spice. One spice one dollar for a dollar. Spice. There you go. He just sat Heard there. Those were very... Sat there for like two months waiting I for did. that one spice. <laughs> I know. He's like, why am I here? Yep. All right. Steam Clipper, speed of three. He's in port first. We have a P-liner, speed of two. And a three master, speed of one. All right, so it's just he and I are fighting over the Indian spice trade. His steam clipper is going to go first. He's going to grab the first two spice off mm -hmm. the top and bounce. Bye. My P liner is going to go heavy spice as well. I do get discounts here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get, I can take up to three of them. So yeah. I'll take two, two, and one. It's $5 for these three spice to come Great. home. Yeah. And he's also going to take the spice. He's yeah, going to take three of them. Wow. And out. Boom. It's like flooding the All market right. with spice, this guy. Yeah. Um, which is not good. That's not great. So that is it. Let's look at the demand right. in what Europe. European demand. Wow. Okay. So we're only losing two T. Because that is a mm. four player T. We're losing two spices. Mm hmm. Um, wow. wow, wow, wow. Three, 
four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'll take this. Yikes. Thank you. That's great. Uh, um, one, wow. two, three, four. Oh, wow. This is yeah. like crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, that really shaped, shaped the market up pretty hard. Yeah, it did. Uh, whew. So he's going to unload first, left to right. So he's going to unload one silk oh, for eight yeah, that's Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so he's going to go silk yep. for eight. For eight, five, six, seven, eight. Now you're one ship. What are you doing? Um, What does everybody else have? He's got one cocoa mm. that he's Man. about to unload. Had I knew that cocoa was going to get hammered, I would have loaded my three master up. You would have, yeah, and that would have made sense. But I didn't want to get stuck. Right, yeah, and that's the benefit of yeah, having the card. That. But that's the difficulty in not being able to check the card. Mm -hmm. So, but you or did choose have the, the card. You had the opportunity to do that. I did. I did. Um, all right. I need to think about which one I want to unload. Mm. Probably T. Well, yeah, probably my three master because I can get rid of my silk. Mm -hmm. Nobody else has silk though, so no. that doesn't matter. No. And T's kind of like meh. I'd rather get fourteen bucks for my cocoa, even though everybody else is going to come in with their mm. big spice ships mm -hmm. before me, and I only have two warehouse spots. So I think I'm actually going to do my spice, my spice galleon, for and seven. Just get that seven. Yeah. Seven dollars. There you go. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna dump my spice. Yeah, smart. Three of it. Six, eighteen. Plus one. Plus one. It's twenty-one dollars. Yep. And twenty-one. The Europeans are so happy right now. They're yep. like, they had everything they wanted. Uh, he's getting rid of his cocoa, cocoa for seven dollars. Yep. And you? Um. <laughs> I'll do my tea. What? Keep peeking at my board. Well, I'm peeking at your board because I want to know what you've got. Mm. So I don't have to worry about cocoa. Uh, actually, he had a cocoa in his warehouse. Oh, yeah. He was supposed to sell so that. So he'll too. sell that right away. So give That's him another that seven. For seven. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll unload my three master now. Okay. So I'm going to do five, ten for tea. Mm -hmm. um, and eight for my silk. So 18. Okay. Dump my last two T for eight dollars. Okay. And he goes. He's gonna go. Well, I, I guess he'd probably do this one first, right? He just goes in order. Oh yeah, he goes left to right, right? Yep. So, so he's gonna 10. do ten. Okay. I'm and gonna you? do cocoa. Two cocos. So it's gonna be for 12. six, twelve. But I'm I'm on cocoa, so 14. I'm gonna get two more. So that's fourteen. Okay. And then he's going to dump the last three. One, two, and then. Warehouse on. one. Yeah. yeah. So he's going to get $8. Yep. Give me a two from him. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give him a 10. Okay. Uh, he did well this turn. He did. Yeah, he did. He I got to count own, this up. He's good to um, own his stock. Yeah. <laughs> 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Really? Four. Can I have a five? Yeah. That sucks. I'm always one or two short. I can't figure out the math on this one. Um, 10, 20, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So 30 plus. 39. I've got 25, 6, 28. 28? Mm -hmm. Okay. And he's got 10, 20, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Wow. So he's going to. By one. Wow. So he is. Uh, Oof. Okay. So he's so gonna go out. Hold on. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. So, so we're gonna do this first. Last, that's easier to do, right? I'm first. You're second. He's last. So he's gonna go up. up. He's gonna go up two. He's gonna go up two. You're gonna go up one. Yep. And I'm gonna go up none. Exactly. And then. That's changed. Move his dial. Now we're gonna move him up. What did up I say? He was two. at forty. So he's gonna go up two. He goes up two notches, and you. I'm gonna go up one. One. And I'm actually gonna go up. I'm gonna go down two. Right. Boom, boom. Glad I don't own my stock. <laughs> <laughs> so my stock got adjusted. Now it's dividend time. So okay. move your earnings okay. over. You take all his. And yeah, dump I'll, it in I'll the take bank. care of his in a minute. Um, so let's go in order. Do you own my stock? Two shares. 
Two seniors. Two seniors. <laughs> two seniors. Yeah. Wait. Well, that was. <laughs> I almost gave you <laughs> extra. I was like, that's a very thick coin. <laughs> Two shares. All right. Um, you own mine? I own your stock. One share. So let's take a dollar. Uh, I own his. He owes me $2. Okay. And I do not own his. All right. So, so one, two, three, four, five. I own my own. I get to keep my money. Um, right. One, two, three, four, five. That's Could our you dividends. give me a five? Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, so we are just going to start cleaning up here. Good, okay. good. You're back to the top. We are in era four. Uh, we can get rid of those cards. Mm -hmm. Roll the dice again. And roll those dice. It's, I just like rolling all over the place. Wow. Wow, wow, there's no supply. Wow. Like get there quickly. Eek. Or get nothing. Okay. Oh. Don't like this at all. Mm-hmm. Mm. I do like that I'm going first. <laughs> you like that? I do. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right, I'm going to go here for my first action. Yeah. <laughs> and you go. And I go. Ooh. So I'm going to go, I'm going to be able to see the, or choose the yeah. demand tile so I know what's coming in. Just a big reminder that in the next era, our galleons go goodbye. Tier five. Well, I don't own any. Uh, okay, well. <laughs> it's just telling people at home. Yeah, I got rid of that. Um... Interesting, interesting. I would like to go I don't know if it's worth going down there or not. It makes me nervous when you take one of the cards because mm -hmm. it makes me not want to like try to manipulate anything else. Really? Or make you think, make you think you know what I'm doing. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sure. Do you though? Not really. Um, I guess I should get a new ship. To replace that. To replace busted this galleon? busted galleon. He's like, I was lost at sea for so long. Probably wise. And I just want to be retired now and be turned into a museum. Okay. So, so pick a ship and pay for it. Mm -hmm. I will set where he's going. Okay, five bucks. Let's put that over there. So here we go. Um, he's already expanded twice so he's mm -hmm. not going to expand again he is going to buy the fastest ship in the lot okay it's going to be the steamer we only we have two steamers yep, that's, that's it. Here. so he's going to put a steamer up they're both the and same. that's going to replace i guess his galleon mm -hmm. yeah he's of gotta course. get rid of that you got to play him like you would play him right yeah so he's going to go to the investor and where's the blue guy that's this dude Ship owner, is that where he's going? Yeah, because he bought the ship. So he's going here. Mm. No, he went down here. Ship mm -hmm. owner, investor to buy the ship. He's going to pay me a dock. buck. Dollar. There to buy the dock and there to choose the card. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so he just blocked that. Okay. Mm -hmm. That changes things, I guess. Um. What? Wow. Oh, I'm just thinking. It's I'm your thinking. turn. I know. I'm thinking of where I want to go because mm -hmm. I don't like my options here. So I will probably go here. What do I want? Hmm. What do I do? Cafe au lait. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm going to go down here. Hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Um, spice. Spice, spice, spice. See, this is what makes me nervous because I'm like, guess I'll go for silk, which you're definitely <laughs> going to try to ruin or not care about when I'm you draw those cards. I'm ruining the Because the way silk the cards market. are set up, like if he really wanted to go like Kogo, like everything else or like, you know, one or two other things might be more depleted mm. or not go up at all. So you got to just gotta be mindful of that. Um, but yeah, I'm stuck because mm. I can't do any more trading houses. I don't really care to peek at that thing. Um, or do I? Well, you get to see it. You get to see it, but it's like. Yeah, I did, all you do is I get mean, to see it. It is good. It is good mm -hmm. to do, but um, in the, in this particular instance, I am just gonna go here. Take it. Yeah, well, China is my place, so. Uh, yep. You know I'm always going there. I'm always going to probably buy silk. So. All right, stock exchange. This is the exciting part. All right, I will buy. Wait, I don't get to go first. You do. Initiative. <laughs> mm. What you gonna do? I'm gonna buy a share of my own stock for okay. eight dollars. <laughs> I'm gonna bump it up to nine. Mm. I think this is my comeback round. Okay. All right, your go. Hmm. Well, I was going to buy your stock, but now I think I might buy his stock. Mm. <clears throat> I'll buy some. I'll buy some uh, AI stock for 10. For 10. So he's going up to 11, and you get a share. Mm -hmm. There I you go. Grabbed it. Thank you. Okay. Um. So do I want to buy more? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to buy his stock for 11. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Push him to 12. Give me another share of that, that East India Company stock. <laughs> uh, your go. I... I'll buy. If I want to buy some of yours or some of mine. Hmm. We're at the same price right now. We are. Our companies are worth the same. Hmm, for the for the same. They are. Um. I'm actually gonna buy. I'm gonna buy yours. Okay. Nine dollars. Yeah. You just pushed me to 10. I did. I think it's overinflated right now. But I'm going to uh, pass. That's okay. Yeah, I'm going to pass as well. I'm done. <laughs> I'm all done. All right, navigation. So we're bringing the cards out, but I get to choose the European card. Yes, the deck, so here please. is your deck. Yep, so I'm going to look for what I think I want to see out of this. That's the one I want to see out of this. Okay. 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 <laughs> uh, I get to place my ship first, right? Yeah. So I will do three, two, one, zero. That. That was confident of you. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, your, your ship. I'm on this guy, so I'm not paying anything. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'll go here and I'll pay my two dollars. Mm 
Um, no. No, I won't he's going to go. He is going to go to his... Trade house. Yep, he's going to go to India. Okay, now you can go. Now, I'll just put my guy here. And then you go. He's going to two. Okay. You? You. I'm out. I have oh, a ship you have a ship out. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what we did last time too, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, I will go here. He's going to go to his trading post. Mm -hmm. And he's going to go to one, China. Okay. okay. So that is the navigation. Now we load. You ready? Yeah. All right. So India, East Indies. Yeah, has I knew it. One two T. That's it. Oh, the T markets. That's like your your favorite card. Why? For both of your areas. That's where you got your trading stuff. Yeah, he's bringing in five spice. I need some spice from you. I'm out of spices over here. Um. Wait. 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 No. Did you pick that card? Yeah, I'm right here. Oh, you did? Oh, I thought you picked that. I did not I pick like, that wow, card. wow, that one was like made for you. Okay. Can I have the orange, please? Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, I, I did not. I was just keeping everything legal uh, here. I did not. <laughs> I did not do that. He actually he did that. Yeah, picked that one. He did. Uh, little bugger. Yeah, so don't blame I me. I guarantee you what that card is. Oh, I know what that card <laughs> is. Uh, three. And I am in the wrong spot. <laughs> three coffee. And one silk. Yeah, that was the worst. <laughs> this is like the absolute worst outcome uh, for, for China. I know. Uh, wow. And I, and I had nothing to do with this. I know. So you can blame him. <laughs> He's got a three master coming in okay. to your three, three master, master. <laughs> to my steam clipper, Okay. to your steamer. Mm -hmm. Woo! Okay. What are you buying with the steamer? I can carry two. Mm-hmm. I will take two silk. That will be five dollars. Um, okay, you incorporated my discount. That's why it's only five dollars. All right. Versus seven. Whoops. <laughs> my ships uh, are so fast. With my clipper, I'm going to. I'm going to buy two T. Okay. For four bucks. I'm out. Okay, you for three. What are you buying? I can buy I think I'll do another silk. Three. I will do another silk and I'll do a T. Four. That's seven. Eight dollars. Including your discount. Here's your change. Okay. He is going to take three, the last of the silk. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that is. Good thing wild. he goes after you. Wild, yeah. All right, so my three master here goes before anybody else. Yes. So he's going to load up all coffee. Cocoa, yeah, coffee. So three, <laughs> six, <laughs> seven, eight. Seven, six, five dollars for me to load up three of those because of my discount. That's my trading post. Loading up my three master and he's out. All right. And now we do the actual. Mm -hmm. He's got, uh, wow, he brought in his steamer. Wow, okay. To my clipper. To your clipper and he's going to mm -hmm. just sneak. He's just going to wipe everything. Two. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, he just wiped the coffee. Do I want to pay eight dollars? For more coffee, that's probably not gonna get. <laughs> mm. Or do you want to park there. for the last round? It's a shame of a fast ship, though. It's a fast ship. Yeah, I don't want to mm -hmm. do that. Um, the thing is, do I want coffee? Do I have a ship out here? 
I think I do. You don't. You no, can buy tea. This one. Yeah, I'm. I may actually buy tea. I just don't know. I don't know where tea's gonna go. I don't either. Well, I kind of do. <laughs> you, you actually do. Um, no, I will. Um, I'll. I'm gonna pay, and I'm gonna take back the coffee. So you want to pay two coffee? Yeah, for That's eight bucks. Eight bucks. Wow, put a lot of capital into this. Yes, I did. All right, take your ship. Only the best for my investors. And now for India, <laughs> he's got. They're like a... getting the paper, and they're like, "This lady doesn't know what she's doing." <laughs> <laughs> he's got a steam clipper, and then a schooner. And then my pea liner. Mm. Oh man, what a jerk! That sinks. He's, he's going to scoop up all my spice. Mm -hmm. There's one. Okay. And there's two more. Okay. And you're going to buy. Three for nine dollars. Yeah. I'll take oh. that ship. Thank you. <laughs> Not him. <laughs> oh man. All right. So. Here we go. We're home. We are back in Europe. What do we have? Home. I guess we are home. Um, Flip the card. Let's see what uh, the demand is. Let's see. He says. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, great. Wow. So this goes away. Well, yeah. One yeah, of because of the die. Got so it. four, five, six, seven, and you're going to do that. Two, okay. four, five, six, seven. All this is yeah, gone. Coffee is primed. That's good. That's good. That's good. Um, here, you want to take this? Yep. Um, four, five, six spices, two, four, six, and only two tea. Yep. Yep. There you go. Unfortunately, tea stuff. All right. I go first. I'm going to unload my coffee. Okay. So selling three coffee. Yeah. Plus one. So that's going to be eight, eight, seven. So. 23 plus three more. 26. Is that right? 26. Check my math. 998. 26. <laughs> $26. All right. It is your turn. My turn, mm -hmm. eh? Um, wow. <laughs> this sucks so bad. Uh, I guess I'm getting rid of this. I'll do my three master, mm -hmm. get rid of my silks. So that's going to be eight, nine, and eight. 17. And a T for four. 21. All right. He's going to sell three of his silk. Mm -hmm. Seven, six, and six. 13 plus seven is 20. Uh, seven, six, and six, 19, sorry. Yeah. I will sell three spice. So it's seven, seven, and six. Okay. That's 20. That is. Okay. Me? Mm-hmm. I will sell my chocolate, mm -hmm. I mean my coffee, my chocolate coffee for 14. Fourteen. Yep. You have a dollar. I do. Him. He's gonna sell his chocolate. Yep. Or coffee for twelve. Twelve. And then I'm gonna sell two tea for eight. Okay. <clears throat> and I am warehousing these two silk. Okay. I'm not getting rid of those. He's going to sell that for five and then sell those two for another eight. Five. Oh. What? He had a he had a warehoused one. Oh, too, he did. So yeah. he probably should have gotten money. He probably should have gotten like, well, we'll just give him five for it. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I'm going to rewind there. that. Yeah. yeah. So he's going to sell two more. Yeah. For eight. And then he'll warehouse this one. Gotta remember that next time. Yeah. Well, you wiped this. So he got eight. So he should have had another three. We'll give him the three bucks. And you should have, yeah. you would have been bumped up by one. So you would have maybe gotten one less. One less. I'll know. throw a dollar back. Bang. Because that happens before anything else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So all I threw right. my dollar back and gave him his extra. So. Okay. Um, that's it. We're all sold. All right. So let's cool. add up. 
I am at 35. Easy. 43. 43? Mm-hmm. Alright, 10, 20, 30. Wow, he's got a lot of yeah, dollars he, he over here. Dig, yeah. Yeah, with 10 dollars. Uh, hold on a second. Let me I gotta count it all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here. Okay. Yeah. Forty-two. What? Oh wait, no, forty-seven. What were you at? I'm at forty-three. So he 43. he took top. So, so he he's took, gonna yeah. he's gonna go good up two. I go up one. You go up none. Mm -hmm. It's gonna you and me are gonna switch. Yep, he's gonna stay last. He's gonna stay last. Perfect. Um. Adjust his thing so he goes up to the so yeah. he's 40 plus he stays he is 40 he's gonna stay you? I'm 35 I stay I went up to 40 so I go up two notches nice boom and then that's it that's it dividends dividends okay um Oof. you own two of mine so I'm gonna pay you two bucks so yeah you pay out all your dividends first so you pay yeah. me two you are gonna pay out two so I'll take that two right back. Okay, you only own one share of mine. I do. That's unfortunate. <laughs> um, uh, I also own one of his. So he so pays you two. two. Uh, I'll take it from the back. Mm -hmm. I own three shares of his, so he owes me six dollars. Okay, I could pay it to you from here. All this is going back to the bank anyway. Mm -hmm. I own. I already paid you. Oh, you give me two. Okay. Well, he paid me big. Yeah, that's I, good. That gamble on him was. Yeah. It's worth it. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, five six, ten. seven, eight. Okay. Can you give me a five? Sure. There you go. So we are going to clean up the board now. We are in the last hour. Final round. This is it. Yes. Let's get these cards out of here. Get that card yep. out of there. Okay. Got a lot of stuff to do. Do their people's faces. We will roll the dice to get ready for the next go. Roll those. Mm -hmm. Last round, folks. Here it is. Ooh. Oh, it's good. You got some supplies coming in. Okay. No Yikes. tea, though. Wow, this is gonna be a this rough be one. So good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, let's get this thing situated. Okay. So you you're yes, leading us I off. We roll the dice. Off. You take your actions. All right. I'm going here. Ah, you want, you want to know, huh? <laughs> I don't just want to know. Um, man, this is brutal. Yeah, that's not going to be good. So I technically will need to look at that before we <laughs> before we send ships out. He is going to do all of this. So he is going okay. to. Wow, he's buying an, a cargo ship. So he's going to replace one of his steamers with another steamer. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and. Fish out his last steamer oh, okay. and replace his. It's probably his actually, schooner. yeah. There's no tier so, five yeah, ships. It's a steamer, so he's gonna go. Yeah, right. his lowest ship is my guess, right? Yeah, he's also gonna put out his second, um, his second trade post in China. Finally, it took him long enough. I yeah. guess. So he's out there in China now. He is going to go to um, that where he mm -hmm. bought his ship he's going to go to the governor where he bought his post and he's going to go to here right the, yeah so he's so. going to pay us both a buck while the bank is well that's fine with me and then okay. he's done so it is now your turn Mm, what is with you? <laughs> I have things I need to do. Clearly. Um, hmm. I would have loved to have bought another boat. Yeah? But I don't have, I can't I know. do both. Mm-hmm. That's a two. Um. You know what? I'm probably gonna do that. I'm gonna buy a boat for five dollars and replace my three master with a steamer. Mm-hmm. A three master is so good because 
You do get to carry back a lot of stuff. You do. Uh, we didn't do. Um, oh, we what? We, let's say we get our last stock exchange round. I'm like, man, I want more stock, but they're expensive. Um, and you cannot buy stock. That's right. We can't so, buy. No, you cannot sell stock. Oh, okay. I can't sell any stocks. Yes, you can buy stock. Oh. Um, you can sell stock right now. Mm. So if you want to sell it, because you can sell stock at any point on your turn. You just can't do it during in the last phase during anything after phase A mm -hmm. in the fifth terror, fifth error, or during oh, the stock exchange. I could do this. Sorry, I'm just talking to myself. Mm. Um. It's like the steamer is less cargo. But but it's better just speed. So fast. Um. Yeah, I'm also trying to decide whether it's worth getting a ship. Mm. can't stay here, so. Mm. <laughs> no, you can't. So I will go. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not gonna, I can't do that either, so I'll just go here and pay a dollar. And upgrade a ship? And upgrade a ship. Okay. I'll just decide what ship that's gonna be. I'm just gonna go here and get plus one on. Coffee. Um... I'm gonna spend three. And you can buy upgrade. any ship. Yeah, I'm upgrading to my P liner actually. Mm, so it's a good ship. Lollipop. Mm hmm I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's all. Alright, now stock. You get to buy stock. Those are some stocks to watch right there. I don't know if I want to do that. I got a lot of stuff I need to buy. <laughs> um, well, it's like, what? Well, okay, so I buy one more of my stock yeah. and maybe get a couple more points. Sure. No, I'm not going to buy any more stock. Nope. You can. I'll buy a share of your stock. Okay. For $9. Push you up to 10 I think you're going to have a big round. Why do you have so many stocks? I've been buying a lot of stocks. Why? Because <laughs> they're worth, I'm going to cash that out at the no. end. No. <laughs> Stop buying my company. <laughs> uh, what else do you want to do here? Uh, you're making me feel like I need to buy stocks. You don't have to. You forego that. I'll buy more of my own stocks. Do you wish to buy stock? Well, we're only going to make back that much money right like well depending because it, depending on how you finish this round because you could push your stock up two or three more clicks that's the return oh because i push it up yeah but then also pushing it up more but Plus i know but then the you're, like, you're gonna make more money than i am off my own stocks <laughs> like that well we want to keep pushing All your right. company i'll buy i'll buy one of my stocks which means i'm paying extra dividends by the way I only have $30 to work with, and I don't like that. That's fine. There you go. All right. I'm going to buy one share of his stock at 14 Because he's a king. This guy's, I know this guy's going to rake it in. Is he, though? Yeah. Okay. He's crushing. He's got four ships. This guy's got a fleet that just rivals mine. I know. I'm just so broke. I feel like I'm broke. Yeah, I'm pretty broke, too. How much money do you have? $26. Oh, well, see, I have $30. I can't afford to spend... Half of my money. I know. To go buy his stock. Like, no thanks. Uh, you gonna buy more stock? No, I'm done. I'm gonna pass as well. Okay. So that was stock exchange. We are now on navigation. So uh, let's bring the cards out. You get to pick. Both of them. So. Both cards. So go ahead and <laughs> pick the tier uh, five. No, I want to pick that one first. Okay. I want to pick 
That one first. Okay. Okay. All right. Yep, that's the one I want. All righty, put it out there. I'm just gonna send all my ships wherever you go. I know. Well, you're putting your ship out first. Oh no, you're not. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna watch. Where I'm gonna you try go. to swerve you. Um, I actually get to peek at this card, so it yeah. doesn't really matter. It shouldn't so, surprise you too much. I'm gonna let everyone know what's coming in. You don't have to hide it from me because I picked it. Oh yeah. So. Uh, yeah, so we got a lot of, the demand for silk and coffee is high. Mm. 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 Yes, 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 I think, I think I know what I will do. Mm hmm. Man, oh, man. Oh, this is crazy. This mm -hmm. is about to be crazy. I think I'll do this. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, okay. Mm. Okay. Oh, here, take this deck, please. And here's our card. You found it? Mm -hmm. All I right. did. We are good to go. So mm -hmm. let us now bring the ships out. Okay. So you go first. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. <sighs> Oops. Don't look at my ships. Mm. Don't look at them. I'm popping them out. Hmm. All right. Um, wait a minute. I have to pay. There's a dollar. Can you change me out? Just give me a bunch of singles. Where's he going to go? He is going to go to where we are at. Okay. Hmm. Great. Okay. You go. Oops, two dollars. He is going to India. India. Mm -hmm. Okay. You? I go to. Okay. He's got two more boats. Yeah, he does. He's going to China, and he's going to East Indies. Is that? Okay. All right, let us look at the supply. Boom. So we've got two T. That's it. Not much. Yep. We've got three spice. Not much. Mm-hmm. Well, you made them really poor. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you would do well, that. Well, I didn't like make them poor. I'm perfect. Two, three, four, five, six coffee. So max down. One, on two, this. three, four, five, six coffee. All right. And one, two, three, four, five. Still not a lot. Mm hmm They got decimated the last round. Yeah. Okay. So there's the supply. Let's start pulling ships. We've got his steamer. Mm. He's going to take all the goods. He's going to take all the tea. I mean all the uh, silk. I know. Your steam clipper and your pea liner. Mm. It's like a race. I know. He grabs up two silk and he's out. That sucks. Pull him off the board. Yeah, here. 
Yep, he's going there back. He goes. Go to your home. Go away. All right, Steam Clipper, what are you buying? Yeah, it's not good. It's like so expensive. Mm hmm. <laughs> so terrible. Um, I've got this P liner out there too. Mm -hmm. This was bad. Bad moves. Bad moves. Wow, you've got five cargo. I know. Worth. I was. I wasn't thinking that he was gonna come out and swipe the. Yeah. yeah I've got five cargos worth. What am I gonna buy? That's what I'm saying. You know it's I mean? like you don't have a lot of options. Um, so five. Yeah, like nine. That's gonna wipe me out just to get two mm -hmm. silk. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, I'll probably double my money. Yeah. You know. Hmm. So, I guess I'll do that. So I'll do nine. For two silk. For the two silk. Yep. On your steam. And then. Clipper. Yeah. So your P liner's got three six. cargo room. I gotta think. Load it full of tea. Yeah, I mean I could, but we don't have. I forget what's what our tea situation is. Not very good. Not great, right? Yep. Yeah, and it's like you're still kind of doubling your money on the way back. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's potentially. But it's like, how much are you really doubling it? Yeah. And is it worth it? Um, especially because you own like as much stock as I do in my own <laughs> company. I guess that's a strategy too. You could just like sink your own company, that's buy it. everybody else's, and then like trash <laughs> your they own company. They trash your company so that they all. Well, they're not going to buy yours if they see it going. No, but if I trashed it now, mm. well, <laughs> if I sunk it. I think it. there's only so many, so many clicks it'll go down. You know what I mean? Well, you can only crash yeah. it so far. Could crash it four. So. <laughs> um. Yeah, I, ugh, that sucks. I'll just buy tea. I'll just buy tea. Three teas? That's five dollars. Um, yeah, and then I've got ten. Three, yeah, three dollars. I'll buy one silk. Silk is so expensive. So it's five dollars. Five. Plus what? And two T. And three more dollars. That's eight dollars total. That's too many dollars. Oh, I don't know. Because the thing is, like, the silk is going to be, like, exactly the same price mm -hmm. selling it back for, like, a buck. So let me just get T. Take this stupid expensive piece of silk back. Probably mm -hmm. fake anyway. And I'll just okay. buy so that's tea. gonna be five dollars. Okay, here. There Thank you. Go. you. Sorry, I'm just these, trying to like get these ships out of here. I know they're just sitting there like like the guy, the guy in the docks like dude like <laughs> just I've get got out like here. five ships lined up <laughs> and you're haggling with me about my last silk. Like, I know. I'm gonna take whatever. All right, he's in there ahead of me. This jerk. There's three master. Good for him. Oh yeah, but my steamer's up there. Wait a minute, where's mine? Oh. You don't. You're here in the last. Yes. Yeah, you jumped Okay, in there I first. couldn't remember if I put that out there. I did. So you get two. You can buy two cargo. Yes, I can, and I will buy. Um, I'll buy two chocolate. Two coffee. Two coffee. That's four dollars. Yeah. See, I guess I could have afforded more. Mm-hmm. All right, there you go. Okay. I shall buy two more. For six dollars. He okay. will take coffee? two more coffee. And he's out. I I can buy three with this. What do I buy? <laughs> hmm. I'll buy a coffee for four. Okay. I'll buy the 
these two T's up. That's two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. And he's going to take the rest three of the coffee. coffee. Wow. Yeah, he's going to see sink in the coffee market. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's finish out. We have this rolling in on the <laughs> steamer and then me with my steam clipper. Yeah. So he's going to take two of those mm -hmm. and he's out. I'll take two as well. So it's going to be uh, $7 for me. Yes. All right. Here we Kay. go. And back we go. So he's automatically, well, yeah, adjust, yeah. adjust, so adjust we'll do those this things. First. Um, so we're going to do two, and that's four. It's coming off. Um, one spice. Mm. One, four, coffee. And five, silk. One, two, three, four, five. Not good. Mm -mm. Not good. It's the best we could do, but it still wasn't good. Um, okay. So first of all, order of initiative, mm -hmm. warehouse is first. Yep, he so sells first. I sell first because oh, I'm do. first order of initiative. Mm. So not that it matters because we're selling different stuff. But um, So my silk goes first, so I get eight and seven. All right, yeah, he, he sells, sells his one The last spice. one for $4. Yep. There you go. Four dollar spices. Okay. All right. So it's your turn. I'm first. Um. Yeah. See, it stinks. So I can sell. I guess I'll do my coffee mm -hmm. first. He's gonna really? take. Really? What? I guess I'll do my. Silk first. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Yeah. That was kind of weird. Seven, six. No, you're right. Yeah, I'll sell my two coffees. Well, it's like you're tempted to sell your coffees 12. first. But it's like, Here. if he sells his stuff, I'm going to end up selling one of my silks for a buck. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. He's going to sell his silks. Yep. Six and he's going to sell and one. Seven dollars. One, yeah. That's extra. Because mm -hmm. so. we flooded the markets. Yep. Your turn. I will sell my coffee or my chocolate. This coffee. Twelve. You were right. Coffee. I was right the first time. Mm -hmm. that time. Yeah. You. I'm gonna sell my coffee. And your tea. And two teas. So that's six. Five and four, it's 15. Okay. Okay. He's going to he sell. He is going to sell for 10. $10 worth of coffee. Okay. Mm. Um, I'm going to sell tea mm -hmm. for 12. Yeah, I knew I should have took tea on my last ship instead of of spice. spice. Did you take your extra buck for your coffee you mm -hmm. sold? Okay. Yep. It's only two bucks for me. He sells his three coffees, so he's going to get three dollars for that. Mm -hmm. And two more for and two for his. <laughs> give him his five dollars. <laughs> yeah, bad Spices. run. Yeah. There All right. Goes. So. All let's right. Let's see. Up. Wow. He's about to sink. I What's think. he got? He's got twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six. Twenty-six. I've got 29. I have missed it by a dollar. 47. Mm, so you're going up one. Yeah. So first initiative, which doesn't matter, doesn't matter but we're going to do, I'll go up two. Mm -hmm. I go two. up one. He, he goes, goes up, up none. He goes up nothing. Okay. Now he, what did I say? He's got 20 and change. So he's 20 plus. So he's actually going down to. Two to 13. I'm going up one. Up one to 14, and, and I going... went down two. Oh, wow. Mm. Okay. Dividends. Dividends. 
We're all still paying out too. Yeah. For share. So, so you pay yours out. I'll pay mine out first. To stockholders. I own so three shares of your stock. So you owe me six dollars. Here's your six bucks. All right. You. We each own. I, I own one of his, so I'll get two from the bank. Two. Take it from him. Oh yeah. I own one, two, three, four. No, three. Yeah, four shares of his stock, so I get eight dollars from him. Nice. Two, three, and I own one of yours, so I'll get two from you. Two from me, and that's it. Yeah, you both paid me. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that was the end of that. Now we're going on to final scoring. One, two, three, four, five. Just getting some big bills here. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same. 10, 20. Two, three, four, five. All right, I've got $44 four in my coffers. Let me grab the book to make sure we are on point. Final scoring, right? So we're going to calculate our final wealth. Mm-hmm. Let's calculate it. What do you got? Yeah, this is all for the bank. How much is that? Was that from him? That's like from him and my change. So you don't need any big bills back? No, I, I used like his stuff okay. to make mine. So what do you got? I don't know. That's 40. all below the board. I can't see. Oh, sorry. It's all below the board. <laughs> yeah, it's all below the board <laughs> right now. It's not good. All right. I'll just put this up here so you can see yeah. it. Yeah. What do you but got? Does that work? Mm -hmm. I have 40, 52. 52. Okay. So on top of that, we're going to add some more stuff yep. here. So total value of your presidency shares. None of us mortgaged shares. So right. Mortgage means you just basically take half the value of it and you flip it. If you like need money. Mm -hmm. So yours are going to be worth how much? 14 a piece. So 28. Yeah. You know what? Actually, let's get this scorecard. Yes. There is a, there is okay. a score sheet. Yes, let's do that All instead. Right. Okay. No score sheet, but we do have $50 bills. Okay. Shing. All right. So we're going to cash it. Do you have 50? Yeah, I'll cash out some 50s. One, two, three, four, five. So give me a 50. Do you have 50? No, give me your your fifty, and I'll give you that. So okay. it'll allow us to just pay you out. Yep. So let's. Get, so your your two shares are going to be worth twenty eight dollars. Yeah. Can we just add all the shares? Isn't that easier? No, we we'll do okay. it one at a time. Twenty five six seventy. Where's all your money? What? I cashed it in for this fifty. Okay. So here's your twenty eight for that. Okay. Mine's worth twenty two. And twenty. One, two. Mm -hmm. I'll do one, two, three, four, five, and take a 50. Okay. All right. Then the total value of all company shares possessed. Okay. All right. So now count everything else up. Everything else. All your other yep. corporate shares. All right. So we've got five. <clears throat> okay. Well, this is a lot of math. I know. All right, you know what? We can use the calculator. So you can yeah, just read them out it. loud. I'll use my calculator. That sounds better. And we'll do it the easy way. All right, what do you got? All right, so I've got 28 because I have two shares of my own. 28 plus, plus 13. 13. Plus 11. Plus 11. That's 52. So 52, there you go. Another I'll 50, give you a 50 and, two. and 2. Bang, bang. Let's see how easy was that. All right, so I've got 11 plus, I've got four shares of his, which is 13. 10, 20, 30, 40, 52. And three shares of yours, which is 10, 20, 30, 42. $105. Wow. Oh, this earring fell off. <laughs> very cheap, newly made earring. So I think. cheap. So cheap. You are so cheap. All right, so that was that. And then all the money remaining in their treasury space. So that's okay. what we already did. So I've got $171. $171? Yeah. 100, 10, 20, 30. I only have 132. That's because I bought all his stocks. You bought stock. all the shares. You yeah. bought all the stocks from him. It was his his. $52 that in you stock from him. I didn't invest in that guy. That's I should have. I, I he always does well. I knew I knew he was going to be a cash cow. Yeah. Because this guy cheats. He, he just does. Goes I know. In and he he takes doesn't things. spend any money. Mm -hmm. He doesn't. Well, he's, he's got no overhead. So he's, That's what happens exactly. when you've got no overhead. I know. All right, let's go talk okay. about it. There you have it. East India companies. Three yes. of them. Three of them, as a matter of fact. Yeah, three so, of them. So let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about this game. This is so much fun. Yeah. 
<laughs> so look, I gotta tell you, we picked this game up at PAX. Yes. Um, I had no idea what it was about outside of the fact that it was East India Companies. And East India Companies, if you've ever played these sort of 19th century like shipping, shipping games. pirate, yeah. Pirates of the Caribbean, like any of that stuff, any of those games. Well, it's like a different... Well, like, you kind of just, any piratey game, right? You always you run like into. these kinds of, like, shipping, trading I do. I don't games. know what it is about yeah. the uh, the shipping era that, that really piques my interest with board games. So yeah. we just saw this at PAX. I'm like, boom, I like the look. It's a shipping. It's a nautical theme. Yeah, we do like a nautical uh, theme. East India, cool. Let's go for it. Um, not knowing it was a, a trading uh, stock I don't even know if I don't know if you call it 18xx. Maybe. Yeah. We're just not into the 18xx's, but well, maybe we are. Maybe we are. I don't know. <laughs> um, we we tend to stay away from games where there is um, a stock Could mechanic. Be, yeah. yeah. Just because it's it's not so great with two players um, being able to just buy each other stocks. But right. The the beauty of this one is that it had a third player, even though they didn't really do anything but get mm -hmm. in your way and and. There, it was absolutely necessary. Absolutely. To have this 100%. third mm -hmm. sort of AI yeah. hitting the markets before you so that you couldn't really tell if you were going to get in there or not. Right. Um, but not completely disabling you from mm -hmm. getting in and doing what you need to do. Correct. Like you do enough of that on your own. Um, yeah. But yeah, like you said, it, to just it really felt like you had somebody else playing mm -hmm. and doing things um, that were just kind of not intentionally screwing you up like right. obviously this ai is not choosing cards that are going to benefit the ai or anything like that but mm -hmm. uh, but it's just easy enough to manage this like extra third person right um without it feeling like you have another person actually playing with you so you still feel like you're playing a two-player game correct what I'm trying to say. yeah there so. isn't a lot of management of this yeah. ai the ai is not smart it's not mm -hmm. doing things intentionally there's no like decision making for the most part mm -hmm. there's a few small decisions but they're not like critical yeah um and you know they don't get money they just they just create their own stock value yeah. their own company value and they basically hit the markets before and after you yeah to to help kind of uh Add variability right. to it. Right. So it was funny because we had another like kind of interesting journey with this game, having picked it up at PAX, not really doing too much research, just kind of picking it up because it looked lo looked cool. Mm -hmm. um, and so when we broke it open, we read the rules and all that kind of thing. It's like, ah, crap. Yeah, I was really game. down, down, down when Great. I read the rules. Um, and plus, and I'll say like just based on first impressions, like first look at the game, mm -hmm. I know I was reading through the rules and I'm looking at this board and I'm like, you got these giant faces, these guys on here. And I'm, you're kind of like, is this goofy? Like, why are they so big? Mm -hmm. These actions don't feel like, like much. Like, why do I care? I get to look at this card. So what? Yeah. Um, as you're reading the rules, but then when you start to actually play, you're like, okay, mm -hmm. all of these actions are exactly the actions you need to take. These are in a a sort of, um, I don't want to call it a rondelle, but they're placed with strategy. Mm -hmm. Like this game was designed with these actions in these specific spots because it was taken into account the fact that you would not necessarily be able to get to the location where you needed to be. And playing the game i appreciate how everything is laid out really really well so it was like yeah. on first read we're like okay like uh, let's just play it mm -hmm. hopefully it's good um we'll see and then i think it was like one round in we're like oh okay once we did the whole round all <laughs> the mechanics kind of walked away to shamefully. click yeah we had like that shame for like all right this is actually kind of good so let's let's give it a, let's give it another round and then as, as we started to play it i'm like okay this is more and more more, more yeah. exciting more and more fun more and more like thinky yeah um so it all started to make sense granted because when i looked at the board and i'll just show you like i just saw this part i'm like this is the whole ocean part of it and like where's all the shipping like yeah you know like that's you it we're waiting for all the shipping this is it like this is literally <laughs> it for as far as where you put the ships and i'm like why like shouldn't the ocean be the biggest map no it's not necessary that's why because right. it's about you're hitting the indies and then you're bringing yeah. it back to europe it's about right. the goods it's about the market because, yeah because this is not a game this is not a worker placement game that it's about micro mm -hmm 
get your ship, move this number of spaces, get it to another port, right. undock your stuff. Like you're not doing all of that on a micro level. Mm -hmm. You're zooming out and you're doing this um, on a very like macro level and you're doing all these different steps, which I guess is why it's more considered like maybe like an intro 18xx type of game. Uh, yeah, I, I guess. guess. I guess I don't, I don't really know what 18xx um, means. But um, because it really is the foundation of the game really is in this aspect mm -hmm. and the placing your workers out on the board, buying your ships, upgrading, all of that kind of thing is really just a piece of that. The strategy is really in this figuring out what's coming out, what's going to be in demand, how you're going to provide that. Mm -hmm. And in your planning phase, figuring out what ship do I need? What's everybody else kind of doing? Where do I need to go? How am I going to get out there? Am I going to be the first? This whole, the whole thing about putting your ships out and bringing your ships back took me a little while to mm. like comprehend. Mm -hmm. I mean, not the, I understood it right off the bat, but to get the strategy of like keeping track of what ships are going out and how fast they are, um, or like what, at least what other people have, right? like before you hide everything mm -hmm. and kind of guessing like what people might be sending out. And it feels very much like I would assume it would have been back in the day when you're kind of blindly sending out ships, you're taking a journey across the, the seas, mm -hmm. right? It takes you a very long time. And what was in, what you thought was in demand when you're, when you're loading your ship in the Indies mm -hmm. is not necessarily what's going to be in demand months and months and months later when you finally arrive in Europe at the ports. Unless right? you have an inside Unless scoop. Unless you have an inside scoop, which is why you talk to the, the investor. And that piece of it just really got me into the theme. Like I really felt like I was sort of a kind of poor manager, I guess, but that I was sort <laughs> of managing this shipping company and I'm like going out and I'm, I'm making these decisions about like, okay, what do we need to do? And for that, to that point, I kind of felt like this is almost like when you start a brand new job mm -hmm. and you're there for like a couple of weeks and you sort of understand how things work, but more experienced people can kind of go like, I, you can kind of like feel what you need to do just intuitively right. based on what's coming out and all that kind of thing. Some people can kind of see the, the numbers and see the math and see the demand and all of that kind of thing. And Not it's, all of us see the numbers. I don't always see the numbers, but I will say for, for a like non super mathy person. Mm -hmm. Um, and we always say like, I, I like math. I just do it, do it differently than you do. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, I really enjoyed this and I do tend to like economy games. I do tend to like trading games. I just don't typically like them with two people because Agreed. it's not as fun. Now, while we heavily enjoyed this one yeah. at two, mm -hmm. I think we would enjoy it exponentially more yeah. with three or four. Yeah, I think so. Um, just because yeah. of the nature of any of these games where you, like I said, if, you, if there's a stock component, mm -hmm. we prefer to play with more players. Right. Does it play good with two? Yeah, we enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Would it play better with more? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but I, I will say, and I'll, I'll bring it, reel it back in now, right? After yeah, we kind yeah. of talked all about the different things we liked about it. Um, when we first got into it, like we said, we read the rules. Rule book's not... Wonderful, but it's not terrible. It takes a few reads, um, yeah. just because of the way it's laid out. Um, we've noticed a lot of this lately, where the rule books aren't quite the way I would prefer they laid out. They'd be laid out, but it's manageable. It's not a hundred percent crystal clear with the AI part of it. It's kind of like just kind of at the end and two pages of what you should do with it. But there's no real specifics on. Like I think there should be more clarity around which boats you put where. Yeah, right. Because it just says, okay, just go from left to right. And I'm like, I don't know what that means. Like, <laughs> because as you upgrade stuff, which one do you replace? Of course, you replace the worst one, but do you have to, there should be an, uh, an organization to that. I think that would make it even harder. Mm -hmm. um, but outside of that, I think once you get the rules down, um, which I think we did, yeah. <laughs> you, you come up with what you saw us play. And I think that the whole package of it is very rewarding mm -hmm. when you can get a big payout. Yeah. Oh, at yeah. At the end, and you and you see your company chart move up. You're pushing your stock price, and everything's hitting. You've got a ton of money now. Mm -hmm. You can buy some. You can do some investments in stocks, and that's another way to take the capital you've earned each era. Yeah. 
and turn it into more money right. by investing in stock certificates. Because where you end up cash wise at the end isn't the value of your assets because the yeah. value you're putting that money into stocks. Yes. So this te technically represented like another hundred bucks did, for me. Yeah. And that wasn't in my that's cash the piece supply. That I do not always do well at because I'm like, I don't really want to buy that stock. What's it really going to do for me? Right. And, but I'm also like, okay, but now I'm like buying a bunch of stuff that I'm going to sell off and make like two bucks right. when I could have made an extra 10 maybe. On buy, that stock. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. I was or buying, buying stock it at, early or whatever. Buying so, it at $5 yeah. and it ends the game at 14. Yeah. Right. I just made nine bucks. Yeah. Per contract plus the dividends I've earned over the course of maybe two rounds. Right. 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 So it adds up. It doesn't seem like much, but mm -hmm. it's part of the strategy, right? And I think, and I appreciate that. So at the end of the day, I really like this game. Yeah. Um, where I didn't think I, like, this is another game where I went into it, I did not think I was going to like this. Yeah. After reading the rules, after setting it up, after looking at everything, I was like, I don't think I'm going to like this game. After our first play, I'm like, I like this game. <laughs> and I'm like, I want to play again. I do. Yes. Um, so it was a very, very much su a surprise for us. Yeah. I, I, I really liked, I mean, we already talked yeah. a lot about what we really liked about it, but I, I really enjoyed like every single mechanic in this game. <laughs> I really every liked. piece is good. It's just, the thing is, it was just well thought out and well done, like just unique. Mm -hmm. And I haven't seen it before. Right. And I really appreciate We're that. We're looking for different really games. Appreciate that. Games that stand yeah. out, games that feel different, games that are, are satisfying mm -hmm. and not such a samey way. Yeah. And this one fit that yeah. category. This one will definitely for us stand the test of time. Yeah. There's been yeah. so many games we've played lately that I'm just like, all right, another one of these. We play it and I'm like, it was all right. Yeah. Just another one of those. But yeah. this one, you know, while it doesn't look like it's that, you know, stunning <laughs> and shiny and there's not all these like things it doesn't have like a bazillion mechanics going on. It just it nails every one of them, mm -hmm. and it's satisfying, and yeah. that's all I ask for. The game, the art's great. I think it's a beautiful game. Yeah, I think uh, so too. I love the nautical art. It's really well done. <laughs> um, I'd love to see more of a. I'd love to see another ship combat game with this type of art because I, I think this is beautiful. It makes me want to go play um, some more sea games. Mm -hmm. But really like this one. So anything else you want to talk about? No, I think that's it. All right, awesome. Well, we hope you enjoyed our playthrough and our, our thoughts at the end of yes. it. Yes. Um, if you like what we do and you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It doesn't cost you a dime. If you actually want it to cost you more, come join <laughs> us on Patreon and you'll get to see some of the behind the scenes and live streams we do for our patrons. Yes. Uh, we also do giveaways. We do all sorts of good stuff. Um, if you want to join our community, come jump in our Discord. It's pretty active. We have a decent amount of people um, and it's growing. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a lot of fun over there as well. So um, I think that's really about it. Yeah. Um, so, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. We'll see you.